Personally, I don't think he makes it to the starting gate. I, I hate when they compare him to me. He's old, he's broken, he's incompetent. But let's also talk about Trump. You know, I stand up here, I make these speeches all the time, all the time. We have the biggest crowds in history, in history. If I didn't have it, you'd know before anybody. Front Row Joes would know our great people from North Carolina. Over here, we have like 35 women. They follow me, North Carolina. They follow me all over the country. They're beautiful. They're great. I don't know what the hell their husbands are saying. This is, I think, their 117th stop. But Front Row Joes, you may even top it, right? These are serious. How many, how many stops? Yeah, in the, in the 90s, right, they beat you. The women from North Carolina won, that's all right. But no, but there's never been anything like this. Look, we do these rallies, they're incredible. This isn't really a rally, this was a stop, and we have thousands of people outside that can't even get in, it's amazing. And, you know, yesterday she had a rally. Nine people showed up. Nine people. She's finished. In fact, our lead against Biden is now 6.7 points, 9 points, 11 points, and even one at 15 points. And the betting markets all over the world, the betting markets have us beating Biden by 21 points. We have to do that. And, and by the way, she's getting clobbered. She's getting clobbered by the Democrats, even though she probably is one. I think she probably is. They're putting up her money. They have the biggest Democrat supporters giving her money because Republicans aren't. They think it's a hopeless case. But don't let that fool you. They cheat like hell. So everyone has to go and keep your eyes wide open for the cheaters and vote, vote, vote. You got to do that. And the primary just coming up. I know you think we're going to win by a lot. And I think we are by probably a record. We've broken every record so far. We've broken Iowa, New Hampshire. Uh, we broke every one of them. Every record, every place we've run, Nevada we broke. The Virgin Islands, we got 100% of the vote. We broke it every record, and I think we're going to break the record here, but it doesn't matter. You have to go vote, because we have to show in November the kind of a movement that we have. There's never been a movement like this in the history of our country. This is MAGA. This is MAGA country. This is MAGA country. And you know, when Biden gets up and he barely can read, he can barely stand. Remember, he used to say, I'd like to take him to the back of the barn. And everyone thought it was so cute. When I said, I'd love to go back there with that guy, it'd take about two seconds. I'd go like this. <laughs> He'd go down so fast. But when I said it, they said the fake news. But look at all that fake news. When I, when I said it. When I said it, they said, he's the fascist, he's a fascist. When he said, oh, isn't that nice? When I said it, they said, he's a fascist. No, I'm not a fascist. They also said, years ago, remember Hillary Clinton? I don't call her crooked anymore. I use that term for Joe. We don't need to. We don't care about her so much. To me, she's beautiful, Hillary. She's a very beautiful woman. But when I was talking and speaking and all the things that we do so beautifully so not you know it's very interesting i've never had an empty seat right this place is packed the world pack i never get credit for being a great speaker i don't know if i'm a great speaker or not who the hell knows i never get credit what? i never get credit i don't know henry thinks i'm a very good speaker but you know no every rally like this one turns out they're all rallies because if we have a thousand people, 10,000 people show up, they're all rallies. But they come by the thousands. We never have empty seats. We never have anything empty. We usually have to put screens like this outside so people can see. We did it in Nevada. We did it in New Hampshire. We were going to do it in Iowa, but it was 40 degrees below zero in Iowa. And by the way, the electric cars were not working too well. They don't work well in cold weather, and that was seriously cold. I had to walk 
from here to like the stairway that Joe Biden can't find. See the stairway over there? Can never find. Where's the stair? He he always moves. He's moving. And yet they're going to show it. Every time I show it, I get in trouble. You know why? Because these fake news people who are among the most corrupt people in the world. It's true. They say, look, Donald Trump could not find his way off the podium. So I imitate Biden. And in one case, there was a wall like that. A lot of times we have people back there. Do it. And these are the front row Joes they've seen. But here's the risk. Whenever I do it on the newscast, Donald Trump had a hard time finding his way off a platform. There were five different stairways. One, two, three, four, five. It's real easy. He's the only guy in history that cannot find it. But when I do it, they show it at night. They show me mimicking him. And they say, Donald Trump could not find his way off the platform. These are very dishonest people. When I say, Barack Hussein Obama is the president of the United States, meaning there's a lot of control there because the one guy can't put two sentences together. So I say, Barack Hussein Obama. Remember Rush he used to go, Barack Hussein Obama. You go, Barack Hussein Obama. But he'd, he'd do that, Rush. Do we miss Rush? Yes. But when I say that Obama is the president of our country, ba, 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 they go, he doesn't know that's Biden. He doesn't know. So it's very hard to be sarcastic. When I interpose, because I'm not a Nikki fan and I'm not a Pelosi fan, and when I purposely interpose names, they said he didn't know Pelosi from Nikki. From Tricky Nicky, Tricky Nicky. He didn't know, I interpose, and they make a big deal out of it. I said, no, no, I think they both stink. They have something in common, they both stink. And remember this, when I make a statement like that about Nikki, that means she will never be running for vice president. She will never be running for vice president. Remember that. There are things you can say about people. Do you ever see where, you know, you're really hitting one person, they're hitting you, you know, but it goes to a level. But we're at the level now, I am in particular, you know, bird brain and lots of other things. There are things that when you say that you're never going to have her. So I hope nobody wants her because I think she's absolutely terrible. She's terrible. So you're never going to have her. And I don't think anybody's very devastated. We do have a lot of great people, by the way.